Hey everybody, welcome. In this video, we are going to show you that how you can capture packets and obviously we're going to pa capture packets um, on a network using some tool and that tool that is very famous, the tool is uh, Wireshark and that is the most famous tool which is being used for packet capturing. So uh, how do we install it in Ubuntu? We write a command, something like that, sudo apt get install Wireshark and we hit enter. It asks you for the password because of sudo and then it starts to install it and it asks you if you want to install it yes or no. And after that, it would ask you for the configuration of Wireshark that if you um, want to give the access to non-super users, so, you know, just do yes because we, yes, we want to give access to non-super users as well. So we don't want any complication. We want it to be available to everybody, not just to super user. Okay. So we'd press yes and now it would start to, uh, you know, unpack the packages and it would start to install the rest of the packages so first of all it would download it okay so if you if your internet connection is really fast it is going to download it you know probably in seconds but if it is slow it, it probably is going to take few minutes before asking you that question that it has asked previously which is like uh, if you want to give access to wireshark to super users or non-super users as well so remember that if you select yes then uh, you know all the non-super users can use Wireshark as well but if you would select no then only super user would be able to use Wireshark okay so now it is basically processing um, it is getting ready so we, we would wait okay so once you are here it means that uh, the Wireshark has been installed so how do you know that if the Wireshark has been installed you go here you search here Wireshark and right here you have it so you open it up right now uh, so from here uh, you can see that it could start capturing packets uh, so first of all uh, go here on the capture options and uh, you can see that we have input as cisco remote capture random packet generator and uh, ssh remote capture udp listener so if you just select any of that so let's say if, if I select random packet uh, generator, uh, I, I can see the output and options from here. You can like, uh, you know, uh, select whatever your requirement is. So you can either, you know, select the number of the packets that you want to capture. So after, for example, in this case, when you will capture one packet, it will automatically stop capturing packets, but we don't want that. We can set it. 200 a thousand even and similarly the files for example if you just want to capture five files then you would uh, do something like this and you would select this option okay so but we are not going to jump into it right now we're just gonna keep every option as default we're going to go to the input we're going to select this random packet generator okay and uh, once you click start so Let's say that if you do not see any of these options here when you run your Wireshark, so just simply restart your uh, system. Um, sometime it happens that there is a need to restart your system, all right? So now let's start. So it says couldn't run, uh, user bin dump cap in child process permission denied, okay? So if we try to do that, okay? So now you can see that the permission has been denied. So what do we need to do? We need to uh, perform a few of the uh, commands maybe. So it's saying missing parameter remote host. Okay, so before we uh, start capturing packets, we need to run a few commands in order to make sure that we set everything. We set our host and uh, you know, so that it could work really better. So we would run here a few commands right here. first of all let me clear it so first command that we're gonna write here we are going to uh, add group system y shark all right so we hit enter so it says that the y shark group already exists as a system 
group okay so it already exists so we don't need to create it uh, but just make sure that this group exists okay so then we'd write another command uh, sudo chown root wireshark and then we're gonna give the path user bin slash dump cap okay so when we hit enter you can see see that it says cannot access user bin dump cap no no such file or directory exists okay so let me just create a create something like this sudo set cap cap underscore net underscore raw then comma then cap underscore net underscore admin equals eip space slash user slash bin slash dump cap okay so you hit enter and you can see that it has been executed successfully so now the next command that you're going to run is sudo uh, user mode negative a negative g g is for group and wireshark and then the username whatever is your username my username i'm gonna write here my username so i would recommend you to write here your username after wireshark okay so this is this right here is my username so now i hit enter and you can see that it has been executed as well so now before capturing the packets uh, i would recommend you to go ahead and restart your system because right now you can see that uh, it won't work so go ahead restart your system so that the changes uh, that we have done they might take place okay okay so once you have restarted your system so now you can uh, go ahead and run your wireshark and cap start capturing packets so just before doing that you know you can run your commands that i have shown you i have displayed you okay just run those commands and uh, you know just go ahead and use them and after that restart your ubuntu and then go on and you know open up your wireshark and then start capturing the packets okay so uh, let's say if we want to capture the random packets so random packet generator so if we start it so now you can see that you know these are some random packets that it has generated okay so let's say if we want to capture this one ethernet wlp3so so if we start capturing this so continue without saving you'd be able to see that it would capture you know at least the browser packets maybe but let's go to the browser and let's try to go to google.com or some other website or server so that you'd be able to see the packet so now you can see that these are the packets as i have opened up the browser you know it is going to gmail so it has started capturing the packets so let's say if i go to google you know you can see here that it has started capturing different sort of packets on my voice shark and you know it is uh, giving all the details about the package the protocol the destination the source even the time and uh, of course the length length and then the information all right so that's it that's how you start capturing packets using wireshark i hope you have enjoyed this video you have learned something new this is linux in training course and i will see you in the next video